What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range, as you can see behind me. Been doing a lot of testing, having some fun out here. And this test right here is one that myself and a lot of other people have been looking forward to. So as you can see, the contraption set up, ready to roll. I got the chrono and I got two blocks of gel. Now I got me a towel over them because the sun's beaming down on them. I didn't want them to heat up. I might get a little long-winded with this first part on this one. But if you can see, the first block up there is completely clear, other than just a little tiny bit that poked in from some of these tests out here. This one right here is full of 22 two tracks from a, like a 22 roundup kind of thing I did. I'll leave a link up above if I've uh, posted that one before this one. But for this one here, it's gonna be a nine millimeter test. And to be specific, it's gonna be the Sierra Outdoor Masters. For those of y'all who've watched my channel for a while, y'all know the deal with these Sierra Outdoor Masters. Those of y'all who are new to the channel and hadn't seen my testing on these things, long story short here, just a little bit of a backstory. I bought these Sierra Outdoor Masters myself several, several months ago, uh, did some testing with them. Uh, needless to say, they did terribly, and, and I was very blunt about it. Y'all know how I am. So fast forward to about a month ago, I was contacted by their marketing manager by email. They were telling me that they had watched the videos and was, you know, looking at how the, the ammo performed, and they had made some changes to that ammo and was wondering if I'd be interested in testing it. So, you know, it surprised me they reached out to me at all, to be honest. So obviously, I said, absolutely, send them my way. So they did. They sent out a bunch of the ammo, these, these 124s and the 150s. Uh, I got them in and I showed them on an ammo hunt video and I mentioned on that video that I didn't see any difference in the projectiles and you couldn't. They were they were exactly the same as far as appearance wise. So I actually went and tested these things and they've already tested. I've got them on video and they did just as poorly as the first one. So I hadn't edited it or uploaded it anything yet because I was going to get in contact with Sierra before I did and let them know like, you know, these are the same, same exact rounds. Well, before I was actually caught up enough to contact them, they contacted me actually the ammo engineering manager emailed me and said he had actually watched my ammo hunt video and heard me say that I couldn't see any difference in those projectiles and he said you should definitely be able to see a difference they should be about uh, 80 thousandths of an inch deeper the cavity on them so before I could even reply he actually sent some more ammo and sure enough that first batch that they sent me was the original ammo it was not this newly changed stuff so anyway like I said I don't know how clear this is going to come through on camera i think it's probably going to show even on camera because there's a drastic difference in these on the left these are the 124s the left is the original round on the right is the changed round and it is way way deeper my caliper my little probe on my caliper is kind of fat so it couldn't go all the way to the bottom but the difference between these that i'm getting is 50 thousandths so i believe it is 80 thousandths because like i say my little probe can't go all the way to the bottom of the cavity but it's deeper it's a deeper to cavity and it's a longer projectile there just a hair longer obviously because if they had to take some out the middle to keep it 124 it had to be a little longer so this has definitely got changes on it so i'm looking forward to seeing what happens here now the tools i'm gonna test these things out of today i'm gonna do two different barrel lengths i'm gonna do the three inch barrel taurus gx4 and then i'm gonna do the four and a quarter inch barrel p80 the original test i did with these was just one length it was a three and a half so right in the middle of these so if this performs well we're going if this performs well then it did better than the last ones at least so we'll see what we get here so let me get this stuff set up and let's see what these things will do all right y'all let's check some speeds out and see what we're working with here i'm gonna do a five round average from each one of them i'm gonna start with the 115s first and the gx4 so we'll do uh gx4 115 p80 115 and then the same with the 124s i'll pause in between after the 115s i'll go down there and show you the data so we can kind of break it up into a couple of different bunches but let's see what we can get from these 115s and the three inch barrel y'all 988, 10-10, 9-75, 9-65, and 9-57. So not too shabby for a three inch barrel. Let's go down there and check the average. I just about got ahead of myself. We ain't gonna check the data till after we're done with this one and then we'll break it up and like I say, do the 124. So let's see what they'll do. Five rounds through the four and a quarter. 1050, 1074, 1052, 1077, 
and 1047 so now let's go check the data out all right so the five round average from the 115 from the taurus gx4 is 979 feet per second and if we check out the p80 it was 1060 so you're talking about 81 feet per second faster from that four and a quarter inch barrel 81 feet per second uh not quite 10 percent of what we got total here so shouldn't be a whole lot of difference in the gel but i'm interested to see what it'll do but let me get this reset and let's check out the 124s all right y'all let's check out these 124 same deal here i'm gonna do five rounds each and then we'll check the data um honestly i'd have liked to seen a little bit more speed out of those 115s not necessarily because speed's everything we are we've seen by previous tests that speed ain't all you need so hopefully that's not a worry and we'll see what happens in the jail but let's see what we get with these 124s from the gx4 1009 995 or 999 990 993 and i'm not sure if i got a reading on that one i may have to run another one all right i did actually get a reading on that last one it was 953 for whatever reason the chrono decided we didn't need to see it but it's recorded in there normally but let's see what this four and a quarter does for the 124s We got 1,047, 1,035, 1,057, 1,036, and 1,060. So these seem faster overall than the 115s, and I promise y'all I double and triple check just to make sure I didn't mix them up. So let's go check out the data on these. All right, y'all, the five round average on the 124 from the Taurus GX4 was 988 feet per second. And if we check out the P80, we got 1,047. So what, 59 feet per second difference in between those two. So not much, not quite as much difference between the two barrels on the 124 as there was between the 115. What are you talking like five or 6% on this? Who knows what we'll see in the jail. I hope it's some good stuff. Let me get this set up and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's can the bigger hole achieve its gold jelly time. I'm gonna put one round from each barrel length down into the jail. So two 115s, two 124s. We're gonna start out with the GX4 first. So the GX4 running the 115. Here we go, y'all. All right, that definitely went more towards the middle than I wanted, but hopefully we got some good results. Let's go down there and check it out. I know y'all can't see really good just yet, but I can tell you, I'm definitely happy already with what I'm seeing there so far. So let's try the four and a quarter inch barrel with the 115. Let me see if I can get these back in line so I don't take up all my jail space. Ah, I think I goofed that one up bad. I'm pretty sure I went way too low. Let me go check that. All right, that actually wasn't too bad, but it is lower than I want. So I want to get one up a little higher so we can get a clean shot. I can tell you, like I said, I'm I'm very happy with what I'm seeing already because even that one there hitting that bottom stopped where it needed to stop with some expansion. So let's see if we can get one more clean 115 in there, y'all. All right. <laughs> I think that, I believe that one might have come out the side, y'all. All right, y'all, let's try one more down there. Sure enough, it came out the side, but it performed very nicely until it did come out the side. So now Sierra looks like they've done their job and I can't do mine today. So let's try to get one more clean 115. I'm gonna try to go high with this one. All right. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that went right in the same track from the doggone Taurus. Let me see what I've done. Lord have mercy, y'all. The folks up there at Sierra is probably thinking, who in the world have we sent this ammo to? I put that literally in the exact same hole as that GX4. I mean the exact same hole. So it, they're performing good. I can already tell by what we've got they're performing good, but this is the last test I'm doing in this block for today. So I really want to try to try to get us a separate channel to look at here. All right, that one should have been perfect right there. So let me check that one out. All 
All right, y'all, we got us a nice clean one that time. Honestly, Sierra's probably glad I'm doing all these shots. It's a lot of data down there, and I can tell you right now, already looking at it, it's performing very nicely. So let's try this 124. I got the Taurus GX4 with the three inch barrel. So I shouldn't have no problem keeping it in check this time. All right, that should have been a perfect shot. Let me make sure everything's good down there. All right, y'all, great placement on that one and great looking performance from what I'm seeing already again. But anyway, let's try one out of this four and a quarter, the 124 grains out of the four and a quarter here. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, y'all, if I have run that, if I have put that in the same hole again, I, I give up. Let me go check and see what I got. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. I know it looks a little bit messy, but I'm gonna give y'all some different angles so you can see all the different tracks. But what I can tell you is every single round that went into this jail performed very, very nicely. Every single one of them had fantastic wound action, all except that one at the very bottom. And that one, I can, like I said, I can't hold that against it because being on the bottom, when you get close like that, it always affects the disruption and just makes it do some weird stuff. But that being said, it still exists expanded and it still got great penetration even though going down here into the air bubble on the bottom this is already night and day before i even do any measurements between the rounds that i tested the first time and what i'm seeing right here but let's see if i can get some measurements on all these things i'll just do them all kind of quickly so the 115s uh we got one here 18 and a half we got one here at 18 we got one here at 18 again uh the one down there on the bottom that kind of skipped that one's at about 17 and a quarter uh and then the one that went out the side here went out right at about 16 and a half so i think that was it that was five 115s that i sent down here into the jail now the 124 is the first one i sent down here that's 18 and a little over a half about 18 and five eighths the second 124 it was actually the shortest of all it stopped at exactly Exactly 16 inches and rebounded a little so 16 inches on the shortest one but i can tell you why is that that one kind of tumbled around backwards not completely but i'm sure that's what slowed it down a little bit but let me give you a few different angles this one right here that's the first 124 nice disruption there carries way into the wound track and then into the second block and you see it there and you can just see all of them the 115s and the 124s you can see the expansion on them that's night and day difference between these and that first batch i tested a few more here that's one of the 115s there again very very nice wound action there and it stops under there you can see it there 115 on the back you can see where that one went out right at the little bit over the 16 inch mark but it still performed very very nice i think this angle right here might show you that second 124 it's that one right there kind of in the background and then you can see again kind of turned around but there's the one on the bottom as you can see it expanded also they all expanded about the same and all of them got pretty much the same amount of penetration so very very nice consistent performance all right y'all let's check out these projectiles so over here these are our 115s minus the one that flew out the side and these are our 124s so as you can see all of these 115s are pretty much identical i can't see any difference in these things by looking at them as you can see there same deal basically with the 124s well, i think this one is opened up a little bit more though but let's get us a few measurements i don't think they lost any material but we'll find out let's check the 115s we got 115.2 115.1 115.2 115.2 115.2 and 115.2 so no material loss and pretty nice consistent weights on these projectiles as for the 124s we got 123.8 and 124 on the dot so no loss on those either and again very consistent nice weights on them now as far as expansion on them we'll start with the 115 here we got 433 434 and 443 so nice expansion on the 115s and then this is the bigger of the 124s 
you got 0 0.52, 0 0.53, and 512. So very nice expansion on that one in 24. Just for a comparison, this is the 124 that did not expand as much. You got 478, 496, and 475. So definitely not quite as much as that other one, but not bad at all. So there you have it, y'all. It looks like the Sierra Outdoor Masters have got them some redemption. Again, I'll leave a link to the first test I did of these, but it's just no comparison. Absolutely no comparison. It's crazy just how much difference uh, that 80 thousandths of an inch deeper hollow point cavity makes. I'm assuming that's the only difference, but if that is, that's really impressive that that little bit of difference makes this much performance difference. All right, y'all, that's going to do it right there for what we'll call the Sierra Outdoor Master 2.0. But like I said, I think these things perform terrific out here. Great penetration on every single one of them. Plenty of expansion, and it stopped well within the area that you want these things to be stopping in to dump that energy. I, for one, can tell you that I will definitely be looking at some more Sierra ammo. Y'all know I've been doing some testing. I want to do some more of some 308, 30 alt 6 350 Legend, stuff like that. I'm definitely going to be going through and seeing what kind of rounds i can pick up from sierra and do some testing with but y'all let me know what y'all think about this improved outdoor master ammo like i said i'll leave a link to the very first video of the original ammo i tested and you can see just what a huge difference if you did enjoy the video as always make sure you reach out and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when i upload new stuff y'all check out my affiliate links down below in the video description whether you're just doing normal shopping through amazon or you want to check out some nice savings on some really good ear pro hit those affiliate links up down below and i get a kickback towards the channel as always i appreciate all my range game members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel i got a bunch of good stuff coming down the line so make sure you stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon